All right, we're going to jump right into this tonight. This is homework and remembering 5-3. Just going to look at the homework side tonight, and we're going to look at the uh, strategy of partial quotient. In fifth grade, we show a lot of different strategies, and we just suggest the students pick the one they like the best. So this one is for division, long division. It's called partial quotient. So let's get started. All right, so partial quotient number one, 7,276. Draw that line down, divide by 34. We're going to look at our dividend, which is the number on the inside, 7,276 and 34. We're going to see how many times 34 can go into there. Let's think of this as 7,000. 34 times 10 would be 340. It's not even close to 7,000. So let's times 34 times 100. And we just write over here 100 because we're going to times that by 34. And that's easy because 34 times 1 is 34. Then we add those two zeros. Okay. And now we subtract. 6, 7. We know we got to go over here and do that little borrowing action. 12 minus 4 is 8. 6 minus 3 is 3. So we have 3,876 left. Can we multiply 34 by 100 again, which was 3,400 or 3,400? Well, sure. Let's do that again. 34 times 100 is 3,400. We subtract. We get 6, 7, 4. 476, just ignoring my sloppy writing here on my iPad. And we obviously know that if we do 34 times 100 again, that's much, way too much. Um, we can't do that. So 34 times 10, let's think of it as that. 34 times 10, well, that's 340. Easy mental math for us. 136. Well, how many times can 34 go into 136? Well, if I think of this as 30, I know that 30 can go into 136 about four times because four times three is 12, which would be 120 if I had it by 30. So let's try that. 34, because that's our divisor, times four. Hey, look at that. 136, that's what we wanted. So it's going to be 34 times 4, which is 136. Hey, we have no remainder. Well, where's our answer? You might be wondering, especially some parents if you're watching, this is definitely a different strategy than we were taught in school. But this is just another way of doing it. Add these up. 100 and 100 is 210. And then four ones. The answer is 214. Okay. Let's try one more. 